if people didn't sometimes do silly things, nothing intelligent would ever get done. If people sometimes didn't do silly things, nothing intelligent would ever get done. This is all a reference to an art film, and I know this because I'm smarter than you. You can just close the door. We'll do this while rolling. Close the door. Your call has been forwarded. So, for one of our episodes, we only have three minutes and eleven seconds left to fill in. Uh, we were originally going to have my friend Sarah come on, and uh, she was going to talk about the band 311, which she appreciates a lot. We're actually going to use her for a different segment. Uh, what we're going to do instead is we're going to call the uh, helpline of New York City, which is 311. And we're going to do it for 3 minutes and 11 seconds. So, here we go. It's going to be an adventure. It's on speakerphone. No. All right. Briefly tell me what I can help you with this afternoon. You can say things like, no hot water, or no heating in my apartment. Go ahead. Disposing vintage pornography. That's a complaint about a dirty yard or area, right? Kind of. Sorry. That's a complaint about a dirty yard or area, right? Yes. Please hold while I transfer you to a 311 representative. This call may be recorded for quality purposes. Hello, thank you for calling 311. My name is Tashanda. How can I help you regarding an empty lot? Hello, Tashanda. My name is John, and I had an inquiry about disposing my neighbor's garbage. Okay, so you want to know how to go about disposing your neighbor's garbage? That is correct. Okay, can you provide me with some more details, sir? Well, I live in Brooklyn in the Bushwick neighborhood, and my neighbor has uh, adult material that he strews all over his yard, and I think he does it as a passive aggressive act against myself and okay. my family. And we were wondering if we can get a complaint done against him so we can get those properties removed off his lawn. Okay, and this is his, uh, this, the front yard, correct? This is the front yard, yes. Okay, and when you say adult material, you, do you mean like magazines or papers or just... Yes, magazines. Okay. Like okay. old, dirty, vintage, uh, like, uh, uh, 
I, I don't like to describe it. This is going to go bad. The subscriber you have dialed is not available or has traveled outside the coverage area. Please try your call again later. Message. It was, a, it was an ex-girlfriend who uh, we were on good terms, but she's got issues. And then one day on Facebook, like after we broke up, uh, uh, she's like, hey, Facebook, should I get a neck tattoo? And then I wrote, no. And then she, that's, she got very mad at me and never talked to me again. So... I would ask for how her neck tattoo is doing. <laughs> because it looks like Magneto's helmet. Yeah. And it's weird, and I, I was hoping you'd wear it and see if you, what you think. Yeah. All right, wait, let's try a thing. Can you punch me in the head? Uh, not hard. Go ahead, punch me as hard as you can. Uh, go ahead. Is this thing on right? No, uh, it's, it's no. got, wait, I yeah, got this here. This all right, there we go. That's about all right, there we right. go. All right, all right, just, just, just. Uh, uh, I can't do that. Yeah, I know. I don't want you to do that. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's, I mean, yeah, that's all right. So do you still use this or no? No, I haven't worn it in a little while. But when you're leaving the house, you just saw it because it's like one of those tchotchkes that just was like laying around. Yeah. And it's kind of interesting and you just pick it up. Yep. Yeah, I just, uh, it, it got, I, I got a lot, I took a lot of brain damage in that thing. And yeah. I was hoping like some of that brain damage would like by osmosis transfer to. Have you ever got a concussion? Yes. What was that like? Uh, I've had several, and you, it feels good when you wake up. Yeah. Uh, really? Kind of, yeah, because you, you feel like you took a nap. Really? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. But it, it really, I mean, I, I don't want to say I, that's what, I feel like that's what dying would feel like, but like a less severe form of it. Okay. Yeah. I always feel like, like, you know, it's just, and then you're gone, you know what I mean, when you die? Yeah, I, maybe. I don't know. So it's like you're just you're just offline. I mean, like I'm religious and I got yeah. my own beliefs, but like, like just just and then that's it. You know what I mean? Like all that religious stuff is who gives a shit what happens after? Right. You know, I don't know. The, the, the like tun yeah. the, the tunnel of light and all that stuff. No, I think that's just like your brain. I don't know. Like I'm not like atheist man. Nothing happens after. I think there's right. still like, I mean, pretty mainstream. Religious beliefs, but mm -hmm. uh, like like Christian beliefs, but like just that whatever. I don't care about that stuff. Yeah. So what was what was the best fight you ever had? You do look like Magneto. Uh -huh. Sir, do you want to be on community television? It's four minutes of your time. No. We're doing community I'm television. There and I saw someone screaming. Oh, we're all right. I have a community television show. Okay. And uh, we were like short, four minutes short of an episode, so okay. I was doing like filler stuff, and we're just going the street talking to random people. Oh, okay. I'm and so I fun. thought it would be a screaming contest. A screaming contest. And so the Is girl. Do you want to do I don't a know. screaming contest? Do you want to do a screaming contest? I don't know if I can scream as the blood curdling. How many? Yeah. How, okay. Ready? So I just scream. Yeah. At the same time. Wait, wait. Like, scream. All right. Think of like the worst person who ever fucked you over in your life, and pretend. <laughs> They're me, probably it's a him, right? And, and just yell that at me. Alright. So just scream. Yeah, just, just scream. scream. Ah! <laughs> Alright, wait, wait. Do you have like do you have like an ex-boyfriend who you hate? Or a girlfriend? I don't ex -girlfriend, know. Yeah. Ex-girlfriend, yeah. Ex -girlfriend. I, I, I don't know why, I just figured. Okay. Uh, uh, Alright, so you probably hate her, right? Hate her. Yes, and you so. if she was like right here in front of you, you'd yell something to her, right? Yeah. What would you yell? <laughs> um fuck. Uh. Get fucked! Yeah? Get well, fucked, Victoria. Get fucked. You know what? I kept all your purses. I don't give a shit. Yeah, well, I burned everything you ever gave me. Really? Everything. That doesn't sound Every healthy. Yeah. That's well. not a good way. I think I won this relationship because yeah. <laughs> I got over you in an instant, really? whereas you burned down all that's your funny, stuff. That's funny because you like waited three months and then called me drunk and then tried to hook up with me. Yeah, that's because really I thought awkward. you were Diane. Diane. <laughs> yeah, Diane's another you girl. Seem, you seem pretty certain that you want to be. Are you sure? You actually embarrassed yourself, so. Oh, really? Sucks for you. Oh, yeah. well, you know, right now I've been dating Diane, who's like three times Diane? harder than you. Sure. Yeah, yeah, she's from. Uh, she's like an elf. 
Canada. Yes. She's yeah. from Canada, and she's like Good for you. six foot two. Six foot two. Yeah, and does um, uh, she does lac <laughs> That's good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good for yeah. you. I've, I've completely moved on. So. Oh, oh, that's good to good, hear. Good for you. I, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I did everything I'm really better off. So. Oh, that's good. That's good. I've grown a lot too in the past I mean, couple of years. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, all right. All right. I'll that was fun. You. Thank no, you. No <laughs>issue of uh, people don't answer their phones anymore. Oh my god, you guys must be getting so much feedback in there. Yeah, it's not great. So the whole segment's kind of shot because nobody cares about you. No, no, I don't think that at all. I could call mom, she'll pick up. I mean, you, you could try and call your mom, but from what I understand, you were like adopted, so I'm not even sure which one you're going to call. Uh, I'm going to call uh, the one that chose me. That's a good move, because she's the one that likes you? No, both moms love me. They do? Yeah. Yeah, so try calling one of them then, because right now we got fucking nothing. Yeah, this is, this is, this is a good Give me a second. Figure out, I don't know. (laughs) Well, it's recording. Hi, I'm John, and this is my mom. Hi, everybody. I'm mom. Hey, and hi. I don't know where to go from here. I just, she just showed up on our okay. set today, and now mom's with me. Hey. Hey. <laughs> this I, is my first time doing this, so she's be gentle. She's never been on TV. Describe your son. How, so, how would you describe, how would you describe John? Describe John. He's the best. He's oh. my firstborn, oh. and I share him with his other mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> He's a great guy. He's got a heart that is so big. Oh. Like, <laughs> he's shy. And I'm like, I was telling the guys I work with that, yeah, he's a comic, a comedian. He goes on stage, but you never expect somebody like John to be the one getting up there and having it up because he's kind of shy, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funny. What do you think John would be doing if he wasn't a comic? <laughs> <laughs> he would. Well, he's done it all. He's, he's, done done it he's already done it all. Aww. Yeah, he's been a dog walker and a salesman. <laughs> you knew that. You knew that. You heard about the injury. No, what's the My injury? injury? He bit you. Oh, yeah, I had like three dogs bite me and the dog Yeah, so. and it hurt. Do you think there's a reason dogs don't trust John? Do you think there's a reason dogs don't trust John? No, they trust John. <laughs> they, just, they just like a, you know, it was a dog and he still walked it. Nobody else would walk it. He would walk it. That's John. Uh, that's it. Okay. What do you do? I can't tell you or I would have to kill you. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you guys are related. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm in, um, I'm in protecting the public. Protecting and serving. There's a big oh, hint. I think, okay, I figured it out. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I can tell you. But, but it's fine. Uh, okay, like, so, oh, so. I remember you when you meet him at a party, then they find out what he did, and it's no, you're gonna be like, I remember you, you pulled me over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do drive in the city, so that could happen. Uh, but not for the city. But. Okay, fair enough. Uh, okay, so let's find, let's say uh, you found out John had committed like a small crime. How do you cover it up? Cover it up. Like a small crime. Like do like, that. You were good. Uh, uh, you take, you take him down? Your tough love. Your tough love? Yeah, because right? I only commit big crimes. <laughs> I love I, him, so that's, you like, okay, what's the, level, what's, yeah. the level, uh, what's the lowest level of crime you would help him commit? The lowest level. Or not help him commit, but like if you saw like if you, if you saw him jaywalking, you wouldn't arrest him. No. Okay, you would you what give him a ticket? What about unlicensed filming in the city? Like littering, he would not get away with. Littering? Oh, that's littering. Yeah, wow. that's bad. What if you yeah, stole like from, a like? What if you, know, you stole something under like, okay? Yeah. Stole something under twenty dollars. He wouldn't steal, right? 
No, I never stole. No. Runs if it's like to get his kid back. Oh, <laughs> that was yes. real. That was real. I didn't mean it to be That's real. That's not I, a crime. <laughs> That's not a crime. No, no, not. <laughs> <laughs> I was grandma. Yeah, no, I didn't mean that. I meant, I meant he had so, it. Like, <laughs> that wouldn't be a crime. No, like, okay, I was making a Fast and Furious reference, uh, a reference to the movie The Fast and Furious, yeah. but then I realized it was a real thing for John, oh, and I didn't mean it. <laughs> All right, guys. Kim, we just saw an animation, and it was it was it was by you. It was, it was, yeah, yeah. You want to see it again? I would. Let's I watch would. it again. <laughs> that, that, that was a that was a fun animation. <laughs> Do you Thanks. like that? That was an animation by you. Do you want to watch it again? Yeah, I you would. You want to watch it again? <laughs> okay, we're gonna watch this animation again. Holy crap, that was an animation by Kim. That was a great, that was by you? Yeah. You made that animation. Yeah, yeah, it was. Do you yeah. want to watch it again? I mean. That was a fun animation. I like that animation. It was a fun <laughs> animation. You did that. Yeah. You animated that cartoon. Do you want to watch it again? Yeah. I want to watch it again. Let's watch it again. That animation was fun. I think we should watch that. You made that animation. Yeah. It was had like a bird and it, it, it counted down and the bird did fun stuff. Yeah. I think you know what we should do? We should watch it again. Okay. That was a fun cartoon. I love cartoons. You made that cartoon. Yeah. That I did. was a fun cartoon. Let's watch it again. We can watch it again. You're having fun. Uh, I guess. Oh. That was a great cartoon. I had a lot of fun watching it. And I think we should just watch it one more time. You want to watch it one more time? All right. Let's watch uh, it one more. Right. You made that yeah. cartoon. Yeah, you're right. You're and right. And it's a I great did. cartoon. I and I think everybody's going to love it if we watch it one more time. Yeah, I'm done with the cartoon. Yeah, you laid it on a bit thick. I laid it on a bit, but it was a good cartoon. Yeah. I think works. we should watch it one more time. All right, that was our absolute last time we watched the cartoon. Thank you for making that cartoon. You're that was a very cool cartoon. Yeah. All right, this one will go. You know, you save names with like cute names because you think you'll be like that person will be in your radar forever. But then like, you know, people come in and out of your life. So I have somebody as like David Jewboy. And I'm like, who who the fuck is David Jewboy? Probably David Spector. It's definitely David Spector. Yeah. But I know like David Spector after he kills himself. He's not gonna kill himself, he's a sweet boy. He's on my show. Friend of the show, David Spector. Hey, Kelly, it's me, John. Hey, what's up? Dear Mom, I made another fun episode today. I met a lot of really cool people and made 
a couple of friends. We learned about ideology and Christian salvation. I can't wait until you see the next episode. I love you, Mom, and miss you very much. Love, John Field, your son. Send the letter. I'm not. I'm not a mailman. I'm a. I'm a banjo player. You can't send a letter. Why don't? It's your letter. It's your mom. This is my show, and it, it just you have. You just. You told me to just come in and play banjo. But you know, you don't have to just play banjo. You can do other stuff. You can like help me out with the show. I mean, I'm doing you a favor by You're giving not you exposure. You're paying me to do this. Yeah, but I'm giving you exposure. Nobody's nobody's watching this, John. Lots of people. My mom's watching this. Then why are you sending a letter? She just heard the letter. I mean, sometimes letters are just nice to have. And you I'm can not, send it. You don't. What, no, how I'm does not that hurt? Sending. I'm not sending. I'm here to play the ban I'm here to play the banjo. Okay. You hear that? Maybe. That's what I went to school for. Okay. I didn't go to school for for mailing letters. That's not a thing you can go to school for. No, You're it's not. You're born with it, okay? And no, I wasn't. Not. I wasn't. Is that what you want me to say? I wasn't born with that ability. You, you know something you do learn at school. You know I don't like you, admitting my weaknesses. You know something you do learn at school is is sharing and participating a part of a larger group. And I think right now you're not really applying those lessons. You know what else you learn in school? Is self-sufficiency. And that's what you're not applying right now. Okay? You think, no, no, you think you're all high and mighty because you got your little, you got your curtains, you got your chairs. You got cameras and microphones, but you know what? You know what you don't have? Is character. And that's not something that's not something you get by bossing people around. Okay? That's something you get by admitting when you're in the wrong. And you grow from there. That's who your mother raised. Is this who your mother raised? I don't think it is. My mom's my mom raised a good kid. Do you have a brother or sister? Because maybe. They're doing all right. If it's you, then she sure that she sure as heck didn't raise a good kid. I'm, I'm. This I'm, isn't how I wanted my day to go. Okay. You think I like yelling at you? No, but I, I don't. I think you're yelling at me on camera, and I think maybe this is something that we should discuss with each other off maybe, camera. Maybe it should have been, but you yeah. started it on camera, and I'm gonna finish it on camera. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry that you're offended. Okay. I'm. I'm also sorry that I'm offended. Okay. And I'm sorry that you did a thing to me that made me offended. I'm very sorry for how this day has gone. Okay. Um, do you think? Do I'm you very think? Sorry that your mother had to see this. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm sorry that she. This is how she now thinks of me, as this. This isn't who I am. No. This like isn't who I want. A banjo to be. player. You know what? I'm more than just a banjo player, but less than a banjo player and a mailman. And why is that so hard for you to understand? I okay. I understand that now. Okay. Um. I'm a person. I said I'm sorry. I want you to treat me like a person. Okay. I respect you. As a you. friend. As a, as a pal. I think I can... As an equal. I think really. I can treat you as that if you can stop talking over me. I just need to let this out. Okay. This has been building up for the last few seconds, and I just needed to let it out before it, before it destroyed me. Okay. So... When you're a banjo player, and I'm sorry to cut you off, but when you're a banjo player... You have to hide a lot of emotions, John, because it's such a happy-sounding instrument. Yeah. And and I gotta be honest, I'm I'm like a full glass of water, and you just poured like a bucket into it. And you know what? That glass is gonna overflow. Okay. If you see a banjo player, just know that he's a, a raging volcano ready to burst. Okay. 
Uh, That's just something you, I don't think a lot of people know that about us. Okay. Okay? Do you, okay, so I said I was sorry, and I respect you as a friend. Okay. And I love you, and would you like this opportunity to send my letter out? No, I don't want to send the letter. Okay, I'm sorry. Right, give me the letter. Give me the letter. All right. Give me the letter. 